Hey y'all, I wanted to show y'all one more little thing. I know, I've got the same outfit for the past few videos. I hope y'all don't get bored with that. Sometimes, I'll be honest with you, I know that other YouTubers do this too. You'll just like change an outfit in order to um, make it look like you're on a different day. But I'll just be honest with you, it's the same day. But I have some things I want to show you. There was a haul that I did um, recently. I go to this shop a lot. It's called Bloom Organics. It's down here in Peachtree City, Georgia. And um, I do a lot of shopping there. I try to shop there at least twice a month just because they're um, a small boutique. I want them to succeed. And I love, love, love their stuff. I genuinely, let me take the glasses off because the glaring. I've got to go get this fixed. Fixed to where this doesn't glare when I look through or look at people and have, so, yeah. They said, <clears throat> hold please. Mm. I have very little left. Um, <clears throat> they asked me when I got those glasses, do you want the, um, do you want the anti-glare? And I said, no. And I regret that because definitely in filming and also just in life, when I look in the mirror, I can see what's reflecting instead of looking through at my eyes. So I'm trying to look at my eyes or check for makeup or see something in my eye or whatever. And it's like, I should have had that done. And I found out you can take them back and have that added back. And it's like 20 bucks or 50 bucks, something like that. Something affordable. Okay, so when I went to Bloom Organics, one of the first things I did when I walked in the door was I saw this beautiful, glittery, what, another candle. Why do I keep buying candles? And this one is Capri Blue is the brand, I think. And this is Pumpkin Dolce. And it says, Bougie Perfume, Perfume, Perfume and Fragrance Candle. 22, 226 grams or 8 ounces. Y'all, this is... If you were going to try to say something that smells more like pumpkin, an actual pumpkin, than anything you've smelled, this smells like pumpkin pie, like I'm going to eat it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I had to go ahead and get it because I knew um, that Capri Blue Candles will be around. I think the, it's CapriBlueCandles.com. Those will be around. <clears throat> but I'm sure it's seasonal, what they send to boutiques. And so this pumpkin dolce... There's the lid, if you want to look at the name of it. Pumpkin Dolce. Um, I'm sure this will be gone soon. And this sparkly is literally just micro glitter. It looks like gold and opal colored glitter on a glass, uh, well, probably a translucent glass candle holder. And it's poured up. It's nice. It's It just is such a strong fragrance and yet it only has one wick so I don't feel like it's going to overfill a room <clears throat> the way three wicks can can and do so much that they bother my husband okay this next one is just because I wanted one I love llamas me and my bestie were shopping the other day and um, I'm petting this like it can feel it I think it's because we like to pet oh a lot of little fuzzes are coming off but anyway um me and my Bessie were shopping, and we came across something that was for llama. And she's like, why, don't, why are people fascinated, fascinated with llamas? And I'm like, she's like, I know. One of my day planner covers for my Erin Condren, which I haven't used in so long, y'all. And I miss it. I do miss it. They're heavy and they're big, but I miss it. And I spent a lot of money on stickers, but I miss it. So I may go back to doing that. But anyway, I told her, I said, I'll be honest with you. I'm one of those people that you can't stand that loves llamas. She's like, I love you. And I didn't say I couldn't stand them. I think she can't stand them. But anyway, um, so it's got a cute little um, hinge. So it's easy to get into. And you could make this a fun um, bag, you know, ornament. Or you could put it on a keychain. Or you could wear it from an earring. I wouldn't run that. It's a little too heavy for that. Maybe a necklace. Or just have it in your lap and pet it. Why would you do that? You need to pet your dogs. Okay. It's got a little leather nose and little beet eyes. And then this is, I don't know if it's llama hair or what it's made of, but I just thought it was so cute. And you can either get it in black and white or charcoal. And I wanted charcoal. 
I love my little llama. To me, it looks like a little sheep. That's what I liked. Are llamas sheep? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, then the other thing I got was purely practical. Okay, I am forever looking for loops that are the right size, and I found the right size. I think these are a little smaller. I don't know if they are, but anyway, a right size gold loop is hard to find, and that and weight. It's got to be weighted enough that it, it swings right in your ear, but not so weighty. I've got two holes, if you'll notice. I have the little um, stud up here, and then right below that and a little bit inward, I have um, my original holes, and they are almost like because I've worn so many heavy earrings in my life. They're my original earring holes from like when I was in my teens, so it's 40 years old. Um, I've worn some pretty big and heavy earrings. Like These are big, but y'all, these are not heavy at all. They're light. They're shell. They're super duper light. They're probably plastic. They just look like shell. I don't know. But the bottom line is I love these, and um, I could have just taken my top um, stud out and put it in that hole, and it covers up the bottom hole. But... Um, I have to be careful what I put in the bottom hole. These are light, like I said, because it will rip it down further. And once they're ripped through, you have to pay cosmetically to have that skin re-sewn together because it won't grow together. Um, you would think it would. Like, you know how your holes, if you don't wear earrings in them when you first start, they'll just grow right back together. That doesn't happen when this rips. It doesn't grow back together. I know because my sister did it. And she had to ask, what is the financial implication of having that done? The better thing to do is go ahead and do a new hole far enough up um, that any earring that you wear will cover the original hole. So that's one way to get around it. But these are so lightweight. They're nice and weighty enough to swing pretty, but they're lightweight enough for even my bottom hole. So I like that. So I got them in gold and I got them in silver, but I just noticed something. I feel like these silver ones are smaller than the gold. Let's see. Nope, they're exactly the same. Exactly the same. What do I do with these? I keep these in my car. Why? Because inevitably, inevitably, I forget that I didn't put in some earrings and I'm out in the car and I need to go. And so it's like, okay, um, or in my purse. But the only reason I wouldn't keep them in my purse, y'all, is because the bad thing about keeping something in your purse is you can have other things that are kind of weighty, and um, so it may make it where um, it will bend the post, the little post right there. I hate when they put, this just drives me crazy on people who do retail. I, if I ran a store, I would tell them never, I don't care what, ever, put the tag on the front of any piece of anything, including jewelry. Always put it on something that doesn't have sticky, because now it's got the sticky, and you gotta go find some gooby gone, or either just keep working it and keep working it until you get the sticky off. Otherwise, it's always gonna have the sticky place on it that your hair sticks to, and everything else sticks to. Or have you ever gotten a, just like a beautiful thing of makeup? Like, Chanel would never do this. There you go. But, and they'll stick their sticker right on the front. And it's like, some people want shoplift. I'm like, I won't purchase that. Because when I take that off, it's going to ruin the logo. Or either there'll be such a sticky problem, i got to go buy Gooby Gone just to get it off. You want to put a sticker on something, put it on the back. Put your little sticker that says you're being shoplifted on the back. Or whatever it is, there's one that will actually send the sensors going crazy now. I mean, because I was in Ulta one day, and I had like four... Um, pallets in my little bag. You know how you carry around the bag? And I got uh, to the front of the store because I was looking at something and I guess I got too close to those sensor things on either side of the door and it went off and I was like, I'm just up here looking at it and they're like, we're sorry. Yes, we know. It's just your sensor. Let us deactivate it. Blah, 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 blah. And, um, but what I have to say about that is um, it really makes me not want the product. That's what happens to me. Okay, can I tell you what this little dude, this is the tiniest ever. They won't both fit in there. They'll have to both go in here. And like I said, I'm not sure I would put that in your purse. Because um, your purse may actually scratch these up or bend the post. Because of other things you cram down in your purse. So that's one thing. And I'm going to keep them in two separate pouches so they don't 
clink up against each other and scratch each other up. So like that. And then you can just keep that in your purse. Or keep it in your car. Like your glove box or your middle console is where I keep mine. And I usually have a silver and a gold, depending on what jewelry I'm wearing for the day, that I forgot. But this was very, very cute, and I liked it a lot. And so, I got it. Oops. So that's good to get. And I think that's it, you got, You guys? You guys? I think that's all I got. That I was going to tell you all about. But I didn't tell you all about it in my last um, Bloom Organics haul. As you can tell, I'm a huge Bloom Organics fan. I don't want to see them leave. I don't even know if they're national and this is just our little boutique or not. I just know I love it in my area and I don't want to see them go away. Do you know what I'm doing right now? I'm pulling off the stinking sticky part of this tag that was on this earring back thing. That's what I'm talking about. Just why? Why did you put it there? Okay, I'm over it. I'm over my rant, I think. I should end on a good note with this llama. You gotta admit, this llama loves me. Oh, I don't want to get makeup on you. <laughs> but you could. Oh, look at his little face. Isn't it cute? You know what it looks like? It's my little puppy dogs. I bet that's what made me like it. I bet you that is it. I love everything that has a face like them. Do y'all want to do that? Do y'all just like, I know some of you love your dogs as much as me. Adriana, my friend, I know you love your little puppy because she's on all of your identities. It's not her face. It's her puppy's face. I get it. It's so cute. Okay. So, I guess that's it, y'all. I'll let you go. I'm going to the drugstore so that I can buy me a new Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil. Yes, that's what I'm fixing to go do. So now y'all know, I'll be coming back with a haul because I never go to Walgreens and I don't come back with a haul. Anyway, I also need their cough drops.